Hi, this is Phil G again. I just want to demonstrate this little module. It's this is something I've just made. It's um, an emulator for uh, a single channel set. This is a standard McGregor 27 meg single channel set relay receiver tone transmitter. And what this module does is it connects to the relay of the receiver and it emulates um, the old compound escapements. So you get the one for right, two for left, three for kick-up elevator, quick blip throttle. But instead of using escapements and unreliable old single channel uh, motorised actuators, you use modern servos. And all the timing and everything is done in software in the uh, in the pick there. If I can just demonstrate this. That's, um, that's the rudder servo. Elevator servo and throttle servo. This is just exactly like a receiver header. So that's throttle, elevator, rudder. And then it just interfaces to the relay on the receiver via a similar servo plug. We need battery power for the servos. The battery won't fit. But this one does. Receiver power. Of course the old McGregor needs a 9 volt battery of its own and power for the actuators is, is separate. So there's the module all powered up and three servos representing the rudder, elevator and throttle um, es escapements. So one for right, two for left, three for kick up elevator, quick blip throttle, at mid throttle the LED flashes. At high throttle the LED is on full, mid throttle, low throttle, one for right, two for left, three for kick up elevator, throttle half, throttle full, throttle half, throttle low. Right, left, up, throttle. So as you can see it's very reliable, it works really well. And this, re this will replace the single function um, escapement emulators that I've been doing up to now. Um, so really this is just a trial video to see if anyone from the old single channel days might be interested in something like this. As I say, this is nothing whatever to do with the 2.4 gig project. This is an absolutely standard 27 meg um, McGregor outfit. Although the software does use the same escapement emulation engine as the encoder. Other than that, it's not related at all. So I'll just Oh, one, one more thing you might like. <coughs> In parallel with the relay of the receiver, on the board is a tiny little push button and we can actually test it from there. One for right, two for left, three for up and throttle. That's a tiny little push button on the board just purely for test purposes and it works in parallel with the relay of the receiver. There we go.